Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go through some of my old outfits that I've shared online and sort of talk about how I would style them today as there definitely has been a shift in how I like to put together my outfits. I actually got this idea from Emma Hill um, and I thought it was just really interesting, you know, looking back on things that you wore before and just considering whether it is reflective of who you are at this very point in time. I will link her video down in the description box below if you haven't watched it already. And yeah, I just want to get right into it. I've got three outfits that I wanted to sort of reflect on. I actually, as I was scrolling through my Instagram feed, I felt like Pretty much all of the outfits that I have shared are still things that I would wear today uh, and a lot of the items I still do have in my closet too so I kind of made it challenging coming up with ones that I would make some tweaks to. But um, yeah, I'm going to get changed into the first look and we'll get going. Okay, so this first outfit is one that I feel many of you have probably worn before in your own combination and your own way. It is essentially a white t-shirt and blue jeans. In the original photo, I actually don't have any of these items anymore. I'm wearing a linen t-shirt, which I think was from Zara. The jeans are from ASOS and they were my favorite jeans for so long. But after I had a baby, my body is no longer quite as small as it used to be. So they just didn't fit the same and I didn't feel as good in them. So I did part ways with those. And then the shoes, they were also from Zara too, but they were just a little bit too small. So I did uh, also part ways with those. And then the bag is my Proenza School PS11, which I sold a few years ago because I was no longer wearing it. And um, for me, I always feel like if I'm not getting the love and wear out of it, I would rather that it went to a good home where someone else could uh, really use that item. So now in terms of the actual outfit itself, I do really like it, but there are some small tweaks that I would make. So the first thing being the t-shirt. Um, now the t-shirt that I'm wearing in the picture is quite a slim fitting t-shirt and you can kind of see that the sleeves are almost capped. They don't really come that far down the arm. And I actually do like a little bit of additional coverage. Um, I do like my arms but sometimes it's nicer to just have that longer silhouette just think it feels very casual and chic and I'd also probably go for something that is a bit roomier through the body because I like to create shapes when I'm putting together an outfit so that's the first thing this one's from Evelyn then the jeans now I really love the wash of those jeans but at the moment I'm really enjoying something that is slightly lighter now these ones are from witchery and I get asked about them all the time and unfortunately I think these ones are sold out but made well do a very similar pair which I will link below um, now the thing I like about these jeans is that they are a slim straight jean so they aren't a skinny they don't feel too tight across my thighs and then when it comes down to my calf there is a little bit of room there and they do also have that same distressed hemline that I had on the ASOS jeans. For shoes I went with my beloved Vanelli two-tone pumps. I actually really like the way that an arm and toe shoe looks with outfits and I think it just feels very polished. In that two-tone style um, in my opinion the pointed toe just felt a little bit too sharp uh, and a little bit too severe which really isn't what I want to go for. I want something that feels very chic and effortless and you know like I just went into my closet, pulled some things out, threw them on and I went on with my day which essentially is what a white t-shirt and blue jean outfit is right? Uh, then finally my bag. Um, I actually really like the way that these more relaxed silhouettes look with a softer bag. Something that doesn't have too much structure or shape to it so I decided to pair it with my Fendi vintage Mamazuka bag which I really like the way it pairs with the outfit and it's a similar shape to the bag that I uh, was wearing in the original photo. I also did just want to highlight if I was wearing it and it was a day when it was slightly cooler I would 100% throw a blazer over the top. Now at the time that I took that photo I was wearing blazers which were cut probably a little bit closer to the body uh, that had more of a tailored silhouette. Right now I'm really enjoying ones that are a bit more relaxed and that have a bit more movement and give to them. So I would probably wear something like this blazer here from Our Kit, which is in a really nice dark navy. Uh, so it's not black, it doesn't feel too harsh. Um, and then belt, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is from Anderson's. Okay, second outfit was something that I was sort of wearing to work at the time. Um, in the photo I'm wearing this Joseph knit. I have on my Stella McCartney coat, which I have tucked away in a suitcase right now. Um, I also have a pair 
pair of trousers on from Elaine and then I am wearing some Frankie Four sneakers. Now looking at this outfit overall I really like the elements of it and I like the silhouettes. I think that they are spot on for how I would wear the outfit today. However one thing I've really found myself shifting away from is wearing just white and navy together. I tend to prefer to pair navy with other colours like camels, blacks, greys uh, and then whites and creams I will sort of pair with anything else basically any other color on the spectrum um, so I am wearing that same Joseph knit but instead of a navy trouser I'm wearing these gray check trousers from Uniqlo um, and I really like these because they do have a very similar fit they're just a little bit more relaxed through the thigh and then they do cut off just above the ankle I'm going to throw on my coat here. So in order to kind of keep with that same color scheme that I had on where my jacket matched my trousers, I've gone for this gray or charcoal gray coat from The Curated. And I really love the silhouette of this. Um, I just think it is very nice and relaxed. It sort of hits a bit longer than the Stella McCartney jacket does, um, but I do think it kind of gives you that similar color play in the original photo. And even without the shoes on, I really love the way that this outfit has come together. On my feet I've opted for a slightly different shoe so these are my golden goose sneakers. Now I like these ones with this outfit because they aren't too matchy matchy so they are an off-white with then you've got the grey elements but then on the tab at the back of the heel you do have this beige lizard texture which I think just elevates it and makes it feel a little bit more interesting. If I wanted to dress this up slightly then I would also go with a little ballet pump. Probably something like these from about Ariane because they do have a sort of squared off toe which I think is a little bit more interesting than a pointed toe at the moment. I'm really kind of loving that 90s vibe uh, and incorporating that into a lot of my outfits. Uh, alternatively I would also maybe wear my little two-tone pumps but I think that this is a nice way to uh, make an outfit like this which overall feels quite relaxed and casual due to the elements and the textures and the actual silhouettes with something that does feel a little bit more dressed up and refined. Now I actually couldn't see what bag I was wearing with the outfit but I thought for a work wear outfit something even if it's more casual I would probably go for a tote bag so I just wanted to shout out this one here from Kuyana which I've had for many years. Uh, I think that just finishes off the look perfectly. This final outfit I absolutely love and again it's just very minor tweaks that I would make in terms of how I would wear it today. So I'm wearing a navy and white striped top, that was from Topshop, the shorts are from Karen Walker, the shoes are Valentino and then the bag which is concealed is from Manso Gabrielle. Now sadly I don't actually have any of these items in my wardrobe anymore um, which is a real shame uh, but I do feel like the things I own now are more reflective of how I would wear the silhouette. So starting with the top, I'm actually wearing a men's oversized top. So this actually gives me a bit more room across the body. The Topshop one I remember being quite slim and you can really see that through the arms in the photo. Whereas this actually has a little bit more relax and a bit more give. Which again I talk about this a lot but it's definitely um, the vibe and the feeling that I'm after when I'm getting dressed. Uh, the second thing are the shorts. So those Karen Walker shorts I adored and I had them in two colours. But after a while they just didn't really feel like me anymore. Um, that particular color, I find that really, really dark denim can sometimes feel a little bit 70s inspired, which I think was actually the inspiration for that very collection um, from Karen Walker. And so I think today I would probably go for something that felt a little bit less costumey. So these shorts here are from Eveline and they have a very similar silhouette to them. So they're A-line out through the leg, which is very, very flattering. And they do have that same distressed hemline, but these are more of a mid blue wash, uh, kind of a vintage blue wash, I would say actually, which is something that I feel a lot more comfortable in. And again, it feels more reflective of where I am at this point in time time with my personal style journey. Now the shoes that I'm wearing are the Valentino Tango Pumps and these are quite a refined elegant shoe. They feel very very dressy for an outfit that to me you know I've got distressed shorts on. To me I, I think that my shoes need to be reflective of the rest of the outfit. So while I'm happy to wear kind of a low block heel I want it to be something that is an open shoe. So I opted instead for these little mule sandals from Spur. These actually were for me a really good dupe for the 
these Saint Laurent sandals but just with a bit of a heel. Uh, I suppose in a similar vein to the Hermes Oran sandals, you know the ones that do have the heel on them. Uh, but yeah, I think they give me that height uh, and elevate the outfit but they don't feel like it's mismatched in terms of the other elements. Finally the bag and I really liked bucket bag style with this outfit. I think it worked very very well and I do have a sort of a similar one but again it does just feel a little bit more casual and it's a bit less kind of structured. It's very sort of slouchy really when you think about it. This is from Charles and Keith and it is a faux leather with this knitted section around the top half of the bag so it gives it a little bit more of a relaxed nature to it and I think that just looks really nice thrown over the shoulder and finishes off the outfit really nicely. But yeah, that is the final look that I wanted to share with you uh, in terms of outfits that I've worn before and the little tweaks I would make in terms of wearing them today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know if you want to see another one like this because it was really fun kind of scrolling through all of my old outfits and I got a lot of ideas <laughs> just for ways to continue to wear what I have now. You know, sometimes you find a look and then you don't reach for it again for a really long time. That's what this felt like for me. But yeah, thank you for watching, for spending some of your day with me. If you're new here and you want to see more videos from me, I would love to have you back. I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button. But yeah, that's it from me today. I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.